Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with some AP Physics 1's free response questions, and we're looking at the topic of momentum. Now, as usual, I suggest you pause the video, look at the problem, try to uh, do the problem on your own, and then come back after you've attempted the problem. Okay, so an incident ball A of mass 0.1 kilograms is sliding at 1.4 mil meters per second on the horizontal tabletop of negligible friction shown above. It makes a head-on collision with the target ball. Mass 0.5 kilograms at rest stage of the table. As a result of the collision, the incident ball rebounds, sliding backwards at 0.7 meters per second immediately after the collision. Calculate the speed of the target ball immediately after the collision. Okay, so again, conservation of momentum. See, the thing about collisions is you don't know, unless they explicitly tell you that uh, energy is conserved or that it's an elastic collision, you can never use, um, sorry, I'm gonna adjust my mic real quick. You can never just use uh, conservation of energy. It's always conservation of momentum uh, for collisions because there's no outside forces. Okay, so before the total momentum is just from A, so uh, we'll do it over here. The momentum before is equal to the mass of A times the velocity of A. That's the only momentum, which is 0.1 kilograms times 1.4 meters per second. Okay, that's its momentum. It's 0.14 kilograms meters per second. Okay, after the collision, well, this ball is rebounding, so it's going 0.1, the 0.1 kilogram has a negative velocity of 0.7 meters per second. I have to put a negative sign because it's going the other way, and in velocity in this equation is definitely a vector quantity, plus uh, the mass of B, which is 0.5 kilograms, times the velocity at B. Okay, and since I know that this has to equal 0.14, I can solve for VB, right? This is um, negative 0.07 plus 0.5 VB is equal to 0.14. So I'm going to add that over there. So 0.5 VB is equal to uh, 0.21. And so VB is equal to 0.21 divided by 5. 0 0.042 meters per second. Okay. Uh, wait, divided by 0.5. It's like, that's a really small number. Point, um, I typed that in wrong on my calculator. Uh, 0.42 meters per second. Okay, so that's its velocity there. The tabletop is 1.2 meters above uh, the horizontal floor. The target ball is projected horizontally and initially strikes the floor at a displacement D from the point of collision. Calculate the horizontal displacement. Well, if it's going with this velocity, 0.42 meters per second, it's, it's D is equal to this 0.42 meters per second times the time it's in the air. Because uh, in the x direction, it has no acceleration because there's no force acting on it. Time in the air when you're doing projectile is always based on the vertical, vertical distance and vertical motion. So I want to look at this delta x equals v naught t plus one half a t squared. This is my kinematic equation for displacement. So in the vertical, it's going to move a distance of 1.2 meters. Its initial velocity in the vertical direction is zero. And the only acceleration it feels vertically is gravity times t squared. So um, I multiply by 2, 2.4 meters. I divide by g, 9.8 meters per second squared. That would equal t squared, so I want to take the square root. Uh, 0.495 seconds. And then I can feed that back into here. 0.42 times, times 0.42. I get 0 0.208 meters. Okay? So that's how far it traveled. In another experiment on the same table, the target ball B is replaced with the target ball C of mass 0.1 kilograms. The incident ball again, again slides 1.4 meters a second as shown below on the left, but this time makes a glancing collision with the target ball C that is at rest on the edge of the table. 
the target ball C strikes the floor at point P, which is a horizontal displacement, 0.15 meters from the point of collision, and a horizontal angle of 30 degrees from the x-axis. Calculate the speed V of the target ball immediately after the collision. What happens? Oh, okay. Well, since I know the distance it traveled. Um, see, this ball is going to be in the air the same amount of time, right? Because it's going to come off again with no horizontal velocity, no, no initial velocity in the vertical direction. So it's also coming off 1.2 meters. So it's the same amount of time in the air. So its velocity is distance over time. It traveled 0.15 meters, and it was in the air for 0.495 seconds. So I just do 0.15 divided by 0.495, and I get 0.303 meters per second. So that's its initial velocity there. The calculate the y component of the incident ball's a momentum immediately after the collision. Okay, so here is uh, where you have to sum momentum in two dimensions because there's sort of an x direction momentum and a y direction momentum okay now i know c ends up with some vertical y direction momentum right it would equal this mass like um so a because a didn't have any like if, if i look at p before in the y direction it's equal to zero because initially there's no velocity on either ball in the y direction but now C has a velocity y in the in the y direction, okay? And so P after y has to be um, the mass of A, 0.1 kilogram, times its velocity in the y direction, plus 0.1 kilograms. And this guy has some velocity. We'll say down is negative. So this is negative direction, and upward is positive. Um, he has some negative velocity. What is his velocity? It's negative 0.303 meters per second. But um, because this guy's velocity is really this way, right, in this vector. But I got to multiply that by the sine of 30 degrees. Because I only want the vertical component of this, his velocity vector in this direction. OK? And so this is equal to 0. Because they have the same mass, I could divide by the 0.1 kilogram. They have the same mass. It'll cancel with the zero. I just divide it out. So VAY is just simply equal to this 0 0.303 sine 30 degrees. Point one five one meters per second. Oh, they want the momentum. So I got to multiply this by mass. So his P is equal to uh, 0.1 kilogram times 0.151 meters per second. 0 0.0151 um, kilograms meters per second. Okay. Hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.